guys, good morning. So we just got back from Key West. So I am going to include some clips of when we were there and we were celebrating my grandpa's birthday. He turned 82. He has like so much energy for an 82 year old. Um, but yeah, I, I was just like kind of in the moment and like I planned to vlog a lot, but then I was just having so much fun with my family that I ended up not vlogging really, but I'll still include some clips because Violet is absolutely adorable there in her little bathing suit. The house was really beautiful and that way if anybody is planning on going to Key West you can see it like how beautiful Key West is. So anyway I'm going to do a workout. I'll show you some of the workout and then while I finish it up I'll include the clips of Key West. Good morning. I'm very Florida with the pajamas today. There's a view from every room. We're in the bathroom right now. And look at that view. Yeah! <gasps> show us! Yeah? Show us! She's like, hey, do I put her in more? Feel it, what do you think? No. Too cold. Yeah. Too cold. That was fun. I got a little windy today. I was in my bathing suit yesterday, but today is a little windy, so rock and sweatpants and a sports bra. What else is new? It gets me on vacation and thinks I'm gonna like dress up and like not be in sweatpants for the first time. Oh my God, the pool's warmer than the hot tub. You're 82? Wow, and you uh, still got it. I accept, I accept money too instead of kids. <laughs> okay, let me check my purse. <laughs> my birthday. But do you like key lime pie? Yeah, I'll eat a little piece. But I was so excited when I came home. I didn't know it was gonna come this soon. And I'm gonna kind of do like a taste test but I got my Tropica package. I decided to finally try it because a lot of you guys know that I love vegan protein powders, but I feel like if you've tried them, you've tried them all, like all the flavors, like vanilla, chocolate. I even have one that's like a vanilla chai. It's like a little different, but for the most part, they're like all the same. And I feel like whey protein powders have a lot more fun flavors. Like Jared's protein powder is like red velvet. Like it actually sounds interesting. I wanted to try Tropica protein powders for a while. I see Sarah's Day talk about them. I see Elsa's Wholesome Life talk about them. And I really wanted to try them. I decided to give it a try when I saw Sarah's Day came out with a, a vegan protein powder cookie dough flavor. Cookie dough. I love cookie dough. I mean, obviously, who doesn't love cookie dough? It is cute packaging. 
what else? I don't even remember what else I got. It was like one of those days when you're just online and you're just like, yeah, I think I'll try that. Oh, okay. I got two of those. And oh, whoa, this thing is huge. Lean protein salted caramel flavor. I want to try this one, especially for my cookies that are in my pretty earthy cookbook. I want to get that, especially for baking. How many grams of protein is this? 16.4 grams, 100 calories. So that's really good. I have nothing in the house because back from Key West, I have no veggies to put in it. I'm just gonna have it with protein and um, whatever non-dairy milk we have. It actually does smell like cookie dough. Just gonna use what's left, one and a half cups. So the protein powder actually doesn't come with a scooper. It just says two tablespoons. So I'm not really good at measuring things. She just does so well with packaging. Like this is just, it's so cute. Going in with almond butter. So if you guys know the shake I like to make, I do protein, fat, greens, and fiber, but we don't have any greens, so. And fiber. I'm going in with flax seeds. All right, we're ready to do this. I wish I had cacao nibs. I feel like this would taste so good with that. Cheers. It's really good. It's very smooth and creamy. Now I see why all these influencers that buy Tropico protein powder, they're always like, it's so creamy, it's so smooth. It definitely is, but I would say the flavor is very like natural, just a hint of cookie dough. It's not super sweet and like that fake protein taste, which I hate. Like, I like a lot of fun flavors, but I don't like when it's like so sweet that your mouth hurts, you know what I mean? Am I explaining this right? Easy, digestible, and non-bloating, helps you stay fuller longer, helps tone and build lean muscle. Okay, so the next unboxing I have, I actually placed an order right before we left for Key West. Our kitchen was like really bare before we left for Key West. You guys know I love to order from Thrive Market. This video is actually in collaboration with Thrive Market, and if you've never shopped there before, it's an online retail store. So you can find things like groceries, pantry essentials, you can get baby products, you can get household products. Literally, for me, it's a one-stop shop. And before I show you what's in my box, Box. Another thing that I love about the store is how you actually search for a product. So for me, since I do like to stick to an organic diet, I like to stick to mostly dairy-free. I'm not 100% dairy-free, but I like to stick to mostly dairy-free. It makes searching for products so easy on the store because you can just click it and then say, okay, I want to see everything that's vegan or I want to see everything that's dairy-free. All of the things will come up on Thrive's website and it just makes shopping, like just the shopping experience a lot easier. So I'll show you guys some of the things that I got. The first thing I got are milked walnuts and milked, what else did I get? Milked oats. So I was talking about this brand the other day and I'm obsessed with this brand because I feel like it's as close to milking your own nuts or oats yourself. So a lot of almond milks and um, nut milks and oat milks, they're filled with a lot of different gums that people can be allergic to and that can make you feel more bloated. And for me, since I'm breastfeeding, they've been bothering my daughter's gut. I found this brand and it's literally just filtered water and walnuts. And then this one is just filtered water, whole grain oats and salt. So if you're like me and you're a busy person, you're a busy mom, you might not have time to actually make your own almond milk or make your own nut milk, oat milk, anything. And this is as close to just, I feel like making it myself. Okay, another thing that I got, this is something that is a pantry essential for me. If you watch my channel, you know I am obsessed and it's Celtic sea salt. So we actually ran out, I feel like I never run out of Celtic sea salt. Unlike t regular table salt that they actually take out all the good things in salt, like the trace minerals and electrolytes, um, this salt actually has all that. The next thing I got, if you saw my last video, I like to make menus for the week of all the different meals I'm gonna be making. And one of them was different pesto meals. So it looks like this, isn't that a cute jar? I have had this brand before, it's absolutely delicious, and yeah, I like to make weekly menus, and I find most of my recipes on Pinterest, and a few of them were pesto recipes, so I got that. Your girl cannot live without organic coffee, so I find this coffee on Thrive's website, and I decided to try pumpkin spice. So if you're like me and you like to stick to an organic diet and try to have less pesticides in your food and all of that, 
A lot of people don't know this, but coffee is actually one of the most sprayed things. So even if you don't like to buy organic food, you're gonna buy anything organic, it should be coffee because coffee, like I said, is the most sprayed crop. Another thing that I love is ripe rice. And I always find this on Thrive. Every time I cook with this, you guys are like, where do you find that? It's so hard to find. So like the texture of rice, it's, except it's made from vegetables. And since it's made from vegetables, it's lower in calories, it's lower in carbs, and it's healthier and actually has protein, unlike regular rice. So if you're on your fitness journey and you want to have something with rice in it, but you want something a little bit more guilt-free, or say you want something with a little bit more protein, right rice is delicious. I've tried pretty much every flavor. So I'm a believer in doing everything in phases. That way you make it a long lasting habit, something you stick with, an actual routine. And I just started to slowly reduce my portions when I was trying to lose the baby weight. I was working out more and then I decided, you know what, there's a few things that I'm keeping in my diet and I'm not parting with them right now. And now I feel like I'm at the point where I'm kind of getting sick of my morning coffee anyway. And the Starbucks dairy-free creamer, it's absolutely delicious, but I just don't feel like I want to have it in my diet every single day. I would rather have it more as a treat. So I got liquid stevia to put in my coffee and I was reading the reviews on Thrive's website. I actually got Thrive's brand. I was reading the reviews and a lot of people said that this was good in coffee. So I decided to give it a try. So I'm gonna be all set up. I've got the coffee that's a little bit flavored. So it'll be a hint of pumpkin spice. I have my stevia. Okay, so this is actually what I got for my coffee. So it's going to be this coffee that I make with the liquid stevia and then I'm going to be frothing coconut milk from the can just so that it's like thicker and I can kind of make like a latte out of it. And I got this idea from Kristen Cavallari. I recently got her cookbook and she uses a lot of canned coconut things for different um, like frothy recipes. The last thing I got is avocado oil. I actually don't use avocado oil a lot and I want to get into it. So that's why I got it and I'm going to use it for different salads and stuff like that. Going back to what I was saying before, when I get my Pinterest recipes, like the pesto recipe that I got, a lot of them call for avocado oil and I decided I would get that. Yeah, that's everything that I got in my Thrive Market box. They do have two different membership options. One is the one month membership if you just want to try it out and you just want to see what Thrive's all about and it's $9.95. Or you can purchase the one year membership, the 12 month membership, that's what I have and it comes to $5 a month and I think that it's so worth it because you're going to be using it every month I order from Thrive several times a month like I'm literally obsessed especially when they have new products and when you guys click my link and sign up for the one-year membership they're actually going to let you pick a free gift up to $24 when you join today so I'll have all that link down below when you become a member you get their member prices and it's just all around a good deal crazy hair <laughs> I guess that's just what's happening today. Um, but anyway, I just put Bye Bye down for a nap and I thought that we could have a little chit chat. Um, a little later today, I'm going to Target with my mom and sister and we're gonna get some 2021 planners, which is just like, who else gets excited about planners? Like, I'm just like, I want all the good stuff. But anyway, <laughs> Came in so obnoxious. A lot of you guys were asking me how I'm going about losing fat ever since I posted this photo when I was in Key West. Were asking me about belly fat and losing weight and losing the baby weight and all of that. I'm old school and I still write everything in a notebook, but if you guys ask me questions, being asked the same thing, I try to address it in a video. That way it's somewhere on my channel and like lives forever rather than an Insta story. Cause I do Insta story a lot. Follow me there if you don't. I got so many questions about how you can lose belly fat, how I stay motivated, what ab workouts I'm doing and all of that. So we'll start from the first question, how I stay motivated to continue to just wake up and do all the things, you know, take care of myself, take care of my business, take care of the baby, take care of my body and all that good stuff. So the first thing is, I think the biggest thing for me, why I stay motivated to lose weight, to lose fat, my favorite book is The Alchemist. So I love books about goals and dreams and all of that. And since that's my favorite book, I think one of the reasons why I'm drawn to that book is that it really touches on the fact that when you have a goal or when you have a dream, it's exciting and it's something to look forward to. And that is so me, that is so my personality. I just always like to be working towards something. That doesn't mean that I don't like to live in the moment and that I don't like to stay current with what's going on, 
but I always like to be bettering myself or learning something new. I'm currently doing some new things in my personal life and personal business and all of that. And I also like to have fitness goals and health goals. And it's just, it keeps me looking forward to something and it keeps me positive. And I always get asked, how do you stay positive? Or how do you stay excited about health and wellness? And I think just that, just having a goal, having something that I'm reaching towards and looking forward to, because think about it, if you don't have a goal or you don't have a dream, it's easy to just fall into a slump and, and then you kind of question things like, why am I doing this? Or why am I here? Or, what am I good at? The second question is, am I doing any ab workouts? So you guys saw my workout today. First time I lost weight, it's not because I had a baby, this is my first baby, but the first, if you're new to my channel, the first time I was on my weight loss transformation, I did a lot of cardio and I did a lot of ab workouts and that did work. Um, but this time around, I'm doing a lot more weights. And the reason why I'm doing weight training is because the more muscle you have on your body, listen up more muscle more fat you will burn when your body is in resting mode so think about that more muscle turns into losing more fat and I feel like we're especially as women we're always told like don't lift weights and don't do this but a lot of us do want to lose fat rather than weight and something you can do towards that goal is resistance training and the other reason why I love resistance training is not only is it helping you put on muscle and working that, but also it's a great ab workout because you're like stabilized and you can really feel um, strength training in your ab muscles. So for me, it's kind of like killing two birds. And honestly, that's how I lost so much belly fat so fast, like the three months postpartum. So a lot of people have asked like, oh, you're three months postpartum, how do you have a flat stomach already? And it's, it really is the weight training because I just completely did something different than my body was used to. So I feel like my body was a little bit in shock. I'm used to doing a lot of cardio. Um, but the reason why I'm not doing a lot of cardio this time around is because it just makes me way too hungry. I can't get satisfied when I'm eating throughout the day because I'm burning so many calories. And then it also raises your cortisol level and cortisol is the fat storing hormone. And for me, I just feel like with having a baby, I'm already raising that cortisol level. Um, I can get stressed sometimes. So I just feel like just with my lifestyle and what I have going on and what I have on my plate, I just want to just minimize that where I can. So that's why I'm mainly doing resistance training for belly fat. Um, and then the last question I got asked is, do I count calories? Do I count macros? And I'm not. What I'm doing is I'm just eating three meals a day. If I wanna have a snack, I'll have a snack, but for the most part, this time around, I'm not eating all throughout the day. And the reason why I'm just sticking with three meals a day is one, it's easier. Like as a busy mom, you don't have time to prepare all these snacks. And so if I don't have the time, then I'm probably eating more packaged food and I wanna eat more things like that I'm making. I just wanna eat more whole foods. Um, and then the other reason is I've just, been seeing such a difference with eating three meals a day. I think that when I'm constantly snacking, it's easy to overeat. I love being an intuitive eater, and part of that is eat when you're hungry and stop eating when you're not. And with snacking, it can kind of be like, like a fun thing or it could feel really good, but then I end up overeating and I'm not even hungry anymore. All right, so I just picked out some planners. I'll show you the ones that I end up getting. I'm kind of putting them both in there so I can think about it. And then here's the Christmas stuff. So I think I'm gonna get one of these. Cute. I think I'll get that one. I think I'm gonna get. Oh. Hi. Whatever you're using in the shower smells so good. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. This is my favorite part of the night. Is her last feeding of the night. She's just so cute. She just feeds. With her eyes closed, she's just like, I'm gonna go to bed, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got at Target. I got a planner that I really, really like, and I got a couple of Christmas decor things, just for like, doing a minimalist Christmas look this year. And in the past, I've like, gone all out, and I plan to next year as well, but the only reason why I'm not this year is just because she is an infant, and she just has so much stuff, like, we have a boppy and a swing and a dock tie and diff a bouncer and we have several bouncers actually and it's just so much 
stuff out that sometimes I get overwhelmed by all the things. We have our stroller by the front door. We have our car seat. We have multiple strollers. Like, it's just, it's a lot of things for an infant. And we actually use everything that we got. Yeah, I just feel like for infants, because they can't sit by themselves, they always need to kind of be in something. You just have a lot of stuff laying around. And that plus Christmas decor, I think, I don't know, like, it would just affect my mental health. <laughs> like, it would just affect me. Like, I like to walk in and see everything airy and spacious and just really clean looking. And even though our house is clean, it's just, like, a lot of stuff. We're going to put up a tree. We still have our tree from last year. I love that tree. But I'm just going to keep the decor minimal um, and just clean looking. So if you're also down for that, then I think in my next video I'm going to decorate but I'll still show you guys what I got at Target because Target had a lot of cute stuff. When she's a little older and can help me decorate, I think that'll be really fun and I'll probably want to go all out for that. That's my little Christmas decor spiel and I'm going to go to bed and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Next day, I have my farmer's market bag and this little like tote that I put in or little makeup bag, I guess you could say, that I put in here. So we're going to the farmer's market. On the way to the farmer's market, but me and Jared can't do it without coffee. Yeah, and a PP break. A what? A little potty break, if you will. He's 30. <laughs> Cold brew with honey, and then what kind of non-dairy milks do you have? We have uh, almonds, oats, coconut. I'll do coconut. Coconut. Okay, so I feel like you ordered something very interesting. Tell us how it is. A cold brew protein smoothie. It's really good. It kind of just tastes like a banana chocolate smoothie. <laughs> but maybe that zing. That's really good too. I feel like I never use honey in iced coffee. I heard that we should be using honey as sweetener instead of sugar. But he was talking about that's how like in the old days they used to sweeten things. Mm -hmm. Was with honey. Mm -hmm. There's all sorts of benefits to the honey. It has other properties in it that help you uh, strengthen your immune system, honey. Um, it can also fight off viruses. It's great when you have a strep throat or a cold. Yeah, usually I just put it in tea, but I think that's interesting. They put it in your iced coffee. That's a huge Christmas tree. Yeah, it sure is. I've never heard of squash hummus. What did you think? That's a little soup beer. And this is uh, basil and pine nuts. Oh, yeah. Oh, we love basil. Thank yeah. you. That one tastes like pesto. Ah, I like that one a lot. You get with raw veggies, crackers. What are you thinking? Wow. You like it? Mm -hmm. And this is raw almonds, cilantro, lemon juice, and garlic. Oh, I love lemon and garlic. No what, oil what do you think would be good with steak? With steaks? Yeah. Uh, Can't forget the doggies. Look at all the fun stuff. Okay, so we just got home from the market and I'll show you guys what I got at Target last night. So I got these to go, I really wanna put them in the kitchen. I feel like it'd be fun decorating the kitchen, especially since I am doing a minimalist look this year. So I'm gonna do like this, this, and then another red one and just like have that up there and then i thought that this can just kind of go in a vase like one of my like i don't know modern kind of boho vases i think this one would look really cute i feel like i'm like a christmas fairy like Ooh. and then this was the planner that i picked out you guys always ask me about my planners and i always get them at target um it just says 2021 and it's kind of like a rose gold look but I like that it had stickers. There's all different stickers and a lot of space to write. I don't know, I'm weird about planners. Like I like this, like I like seeing the whole month at a glance, especially when I'm planning content. But then I also really liked the to-do because a lot of times I'll need dates for things or maybe I need to buy an ingredient if I'm making a certain recipe. And I got Violet a little Christmas outfit I thought this this was really cute. So it's like a sweatshirt and like, look at the little sweatpants. Okay, I forgot the last thing that I got that if you're decorating for Christmas and you love that like pine smell, but you don't want like a hideous candle. Like I like that this has a natural kind of look. 
This candle smells like a Christmas tree. Oh my God. It smells so good without being like a fake scent. It's called Sugared Birch. Magnolia candles there. Oh my God, this just smells like, it smells like Christmas in a jar. Like, it smells so good. So I think I'm gonna put that one out now. So Jared just made some steaks and we're going to be having it with some of the dips we got at the farmer's market. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and I'll see you guys soon.